Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have this orangey fall makeup look for you. If you're interested in learning how to do it, then just keep watching and you'll see. And hopefully you'll learn something, hopefully you'll subscribe, hopefully you'll follow me on this makeup journey, um, and this YouTube journey. Let's do it. Let's do it, girl, guy, whoever's watching. Please watch this video. Enjoy this fall makeup look, okay? Watch this video if you want to learn how to do this fall makeup look, okay? Awesome, amazing, perfect, great. Just keep watching. Okay, so first things first, I put on my brows. Um, I don't know if you guys care to see a tutorial or if you want them included in tutorials. Just let me know. Happy to do whatever you guys want. Um, but in today's video for the purpose of time since you guys like talk throughs that's totally fine i just feel like i get off on like a tangent and it takes me forever to finish a video so and then they get really long and i don't know if you guys like long videos if you like quick videos so just let me know what you prefer but i'm not going to show products in today's video i'm going to list them all below in the description so you guys know what i'm using but you're not going to see it on screen for the purpose of saving time Cool. Awesome. All right. So, um, I totally didn't bring a palette that has a mirror. So the first, so I guess that's when like one of those Jeffree Star mirrors would like really come in handy, you know, but I don't have one because I usually do my makeup at home and I have a mirror in front of me, but I suppose I would be getting one so I can do videos and see better when I bring a palette that doesn't have a mirror. But I prime my eyes with concealer, and just so you guys know, I have a spray tan, so my face looks whiter than my body a little bit, but don't worry, we're going to blend that later. Um, but I'm totally going to start with my eyes. So the palette we are using, I will show you guys that because I know you'll probably ask because everybody wants to know what eyeshadow, but we are going to go into this classic fall palette. This is the Morphe, look at my little chicken fingers, um, Morphe 35 oh two palette i love the first one i use that one for clients that one's a little bit more brown but this one is more orange but you know you guys can use this how you want you know whatever whatever kind of look you want to do you can take inspiration from this or you can like completely recreate it whatever you guys want to do but i'm totally gonna start with like a light kind of tannish orange shade and that's gonna go in the crease hopefully you guys can see trying something new where it's not like so close up on the eyes but let me know what you guys think and I'm just taking a big fluffy brush and just kind of buffing that everywhere because it doesn't really matter Um, the eyeshadows in this palette blend really nice. So, yeah. Just play around, I guess. Um, but yeah, this is going to be a transition shade, basically. This is like one of the best transition shades, I feel like. Um, yeah, so we're doing that. And then I'm going to go in with a little bit of a smaller brush. And I'm going to take a darker shade. I think I'm literally going to go in with like an orange. Just so we have fun and it's literally a fall vibe. You know what I'm saying? Um, so we're going to go into like a rusty orange and a regular orange. And we're going to mix those together. And we're just going to start placing them like this. And working them around. I totally wish I had a bigger mirror, but you know, got to work with what you have. And you don't bring stuff, Taylor. Um, so guys, I did manage to get my hands on the Conspiracy palette. Actually, I got two. I got one on the Morphe site and one on the Jeffree site. No idea how. No clue. I was going to do one, save one for a giveaway. Um, but my sister has loved Shane Dawson way longer than I have and she was trying to get to the palette and she was really discouraged so I bought it for her because she couldn't get it so I gave it to her well I don't have it yet but I bought it and it's coming and I'm giving it to her so I'm thinking when they restock I'm totally gonna buy another one 
and I'm gonna do a giveaway and I think that'll be super fun because I know so many of you probably want the palette and want to see it for yourself but as soon as I get it um, get both of them I am one I'm coming on here instantly and doing a tutorial like no doubt about it I cannot wait for this palette um, and whoops I can't wait for this palette and then me and my sister whenever I get like the second one because I already told her I'm like I'm sorry dude I have to have it first <laughs> because I need to film a YouTube video ASAP with it so I can't wait for that and she was like yeah no worries and then as soon as we get the other one we are gonna go live on Instagram and we're gonna do a makeup look together which I think will be super fun because she I don't know she doesn't like really wear eyeshadow like she wears eyeliner and like a little bit of eyeshadow but I think it will be fun to like get to play around with my sister so I'm excited for that can't wait to see I was not able to get any like uh, liquid lip shades um, just because obviously you guys know the website was down it was really stupid but you know it's okay I understand I'm not mad because I got the palettes but I know a lot of people are mad but you know you can't really control these things sometimes which sucks but what are you gonna do um, going into an orangey brown shade um, and this is just gonna go lower than that orange actually this is totally not dark enough so I'm gonna go into I'm gonna mix a little bit of a brown in there I don't really know where this look is going guys we're just gonna see what happens we are just gonna see and you guys can totally do this look with browns or all oranges or you know anything you want it's super easy I'm literally using like three colors because I don't know, I used to do like really crazy looks and I would really blow myself away, truly. And last night, I was having a bit of a rough time because I was trying to do some like creative looks because I'm trying to find like my creative spark again doing makeup, you know, because I had a long break, obviously you guys know from like my YouTube and like barely came back you know I'm like trying my hardest but it really sucks because I love makeup so much but I I don't know I don't know if I'm lazy I don't know if I like I don't know and I also feel like I have like high standards for how I want my makeup to turn out like there was one point where I felt I was really close if you guys know Mitchell like ma -ma 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 Mitchell I really felt I was so close to like being on his level and then I stopped doing makeup for like a freaking year and I'm like kind of mad at myself I'm kind of beating myself up and I don't know like what made me stop and I don't know like why I can't pick it back up but um, you know I don't know I'm, I'm still trying but it's really frustrating because obviously like when you know that you know you're good at something and then you stop and you take a break um I really didn't think it was like gonna make that big of a difference like I thought I would just be able to pick up like right where I left off but obviously not the case I mean unless I'm being too hard on myself and I like completely think that I was that good and I like wasn't I don't know you know but I don't know so I'm just trying to see you know starting with like some easy looks trying to get back into it. I'm like really waiting for this, honestly, for this Shane palette because I think it's gonna give me like my creative spark that I need because there's so many colors in there that I'm just like so excited for. Like that food video shade, like that yellowy, greenish, whatever it kind of is, you know, that shade. Um, I'm obsessed with that and the pinks that are next to that and that like purpley red underneath it that is like oh, my colors so I can't wait okay guys like literally I'm like done with this look I'm done with the shadow like that's it this palette blends so easily I don't want it too dark because 
don't know I'm like I'm also not used to looking at myself like with makeup on too like it looks so weird to me sometimes because I like haven't and I've been doing like neutral easy you know nat not neutral natural Natural kind of makeup. So yeah, um, it's definitely hard to get back into the swing of things. Um, I th think I'm going to take a color pop shade. Um, this is Lightning Bug. Oh, it's definitely a little bit dried out. That is... Dang. That's pretty new. I thought. Maybe I'm wrong. That looks cute. Okay. I found another one. Because this one, oh yeah, so much better. It's for clients. And I'm totally going to use it. Um, okay, we're going to put more. It's just like glittery and orange. And like, you know, just super cute. Also, if my nails are like funky colors, like really don't mind it. Like, it's just hair color. I'm not dirty, I swear. I tried to like make them look as decent as I possibly could just because I don't even bother painting my nails anymore because they just get fricked up from color. So if they look interesting, that is why. Um, but yeah, so she's using my finger because this is the best way to use these eyeshadows. Um, and like I said, I will list everything below. So if you guys have questions, it will be there. I'm not going to be that person that's like, oh, put it below, and then I don't. I'm going to. Don't worry. Yes! Oh, cute! Can I focus? Hello, please. I'm over here. There we go. Cute! But we're going to go into foundation. So I'm mixing two because this is way too dark. This is like my summer spray tan shade. Um... So I'm mixing um, my regular foundation with like a drop of this, which is to, to why am I saying this when I said I'm not going to show? Oh my God, I'm so dumb. Okay, well, I have to mix because of my spray tan. So if it looks funky, we're just going to go with it, okay? You're just going to go with it and you'll see it all come together. And I'm hoping this is a mirror. Yes, it is. Okay, here we go. So I'm not. Oh god, this looks, that looks hilarious. Okay, we're just working with it. Just gonna blend it around. There we go, see? She's matching. She's working. Um, but yeah, okay, so I'm not a huge foundation person anymore. I like tinted moisturizer, and I like this ColourPop foundation, because... I don't know, it just, I really like it. I really, really like it. Do a little bit on my chin. I hope this is matching on camera because it looks good in person, I think. My forehead looks hilarious. But yeah, so I don't want to buy, I don't want to buy a new foundation. I mean, a new tinted moisturizer because I have this one and I might as well use it. But I mean, life would be easier if I just, you know, got the, the right shade wouldn't it but you know why would I do that <laughs> why would I make things easier on myself I don't know why would I okay we're good I'm gonna do concealer um, and like I said I have a mini concealer if I said that I don't know I think I did um, so I have a mini concealer because um, it's my spray tan shade and I didn't want to buy the full size because I wanted to make sure that it worked and I saw this at the Sephora checkout and I was like yes girl um so yeah this is what I do also using black beauty blender so this one um this concealer regardless if it's the mini size or the full size um lasts a really long time makes your skin look absolutely insane I'm just kind of like making the shadow like look almost like a little bit sharper with the leftover concealer um 
and then usually like if I do just tinted moisturizer I kind of like let the concealer do like the coverage because I kind of really only need like coverage and like not like coverage but like a little bit like in the center of my face I feel like it's like a little bit more red like around my nose and stuff and then whatever's left I kind of just like spread it around but that's that and then I make sure like you might look crazy for a sec but I make sure I do not move I do not move my face because you don't want it to crease before you set it which I totally just moved it so I could get this but it's okay um, and I'm literally going to do a small eyeshadow brush to set it. Before you set, make sure you have no wrinkles. No little creases. And I'm lightly going to tap this under my eye. If you go like that, you'll disrupt the concealer. And this powder is like insane at smoothing. It makes like my top little, it's not, nothing anybody really can see, but it's a wrinkle from raising my eyebrows right there, um, like right here. And it smooths it out like no other. Hopefully this is focused on my face because I'm really trying here, people. Okay, we're going to do a little bit on the nose, a little bit in between. Okay, literally, I'm just going to go back and forth like this. And it literally gets rid of this wrinkle, I swear. It's insane. Um, so this powder is also worth it too. And then I kind of just like put it a little bit everywhere else that I get oily. And then we're going to set the rest of the face with a huge um, brush. This one's from Morphe. I'm using the same powder. And I'm just going to tap the rest of this on my face. But I'm going to avoid where I highlight. That's my little tip. But I'm setting this so that I can do bronzer everywhere else. The blush, I don't really care about. But the bronzer, I feel like, clings to your wet foundation. I really hope I match. I feel like this lighting... Well, that looks like... I swear on camera, it looks like there's like a missing, but I really think it's just the lighting. I swear. Okay. Good. We are going to do bronzer. I make like a sideways fishy face. Like I move my whole face like this way. I'm using like a light hand. Like you can see I'm like halfway down the brush. The farther away you are, the lighter your hand will be. The closer, the harsher. So if you want things like really airbrushed, then I suggest holding them farther away, the brush. Okay, my one thing I don't do is put foundation over this tattoo, so don't clog me, okay? I don't do it, not even gonna pretend that I do, because I don't like how foundation looks over that. <laughs> Which is really hate it. So if you see that, ignore or come for me, you know, whatever you, whatever you um, want to do. I hope you don't come for me. Look, I'm starting to look like so much cuter. All I gotta say. This one is totally broken because it is well loved. The top literally broke off, but I can't get rid of it because the best blush on the planet and I don't even think that they make it anymore and I don't really know what I'm going to do without it. And I'm holding my brush really far away because I want this like lightly dusted everywhere. We're almost done. Nose, chin, 
forehead. Just so you guys know, blush is the first thing to fade. It's the first thing that fades. Let's finish up on the eyes. I'm gonna put glue on some lashes and then we'll finish up the eyes. I'm just gonna reverse what we already did. I'm gonna go underneath. So I'm taking like that warm, rusty brown. And I'm using a small, like little liner detail type of brush. Go underneath, go into like the lighter orange, and blend that out. I took this like a little bit too low, but you know, whatever. We like a smoky look. You know, take these, like with a grain of salt, you know, whatever whatever you want to do is cool. If you don't want to take it this low, you don't have to. Um, and I'm lightly going to take that lightest transition shade just to tie it together. Go in with a cream highlighter. Lashes are on. I'm gonna let those dry and then we're gonna finish them up But I am going to do some highlighting. So I want to go in with a cream highlighter first This one is my favorite It's the same one I put on the inner corner, so it's gonna tie really nicely together Lashes are almost dry. I'm gonna do lips and I have a new like current fave nude combo of course I do a nude because why wouldn't I nude just looks the best and I think I think it's like wearable for everybody you know everybody wants a nude. Now we're gonna do a cream liquid lipstick. This one's from Kylie. It's actually a Kim and Kylie collab. I don't know, I just really like this combo, especially um, with the tan, especially with the tan. This is the completed look. I hope you enjoyed watching. I hope you learned something. Um, if you have any other requests of any kind, you can feel free to answer my polls on Instagram because they go up like once or twice a week on what you guys want to see. Um, and I'm trying to commit, okay? So every Monday, 
I'm going to be filming and the video itself will be up on Friday but um or earlier if I have time so today I probably will have time to edit so it might even be up tonight it might be up tomorrow who knows I don't know but um yeah thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed this fall look um this orangey brown fall look um and yeah I think that's it so if you have any other videos that you guys want to see let me know um please like this video um subscribe follow me on instagram everything is linked down below you can follow my hair page um and see all the amazing clients that i do on the daily um all the amazing blondes um <laughs> shameless self promo but um yeah thank you guys for watching and i'll be back soon